So I'm talking to you live from ASAE 22 in Nashville. Yes, hey. and we're, we're so excited. We're here together. And you know, Mark, Elena, we I have you trapped here. Why? Because <laughs> we're talking about this initiative. Talk to me about Social Offset. What is Social Offset? So we like to call it socialoffset.com okay. to get people to the site. So a few years ago, I was in the Dallas airport, had to buy uh, something to eat. And the only uh, thing that I really wanted to eat was a chicken sandwich that I bought at Chick-fil-A. And I thought, ooh, I don't like Chick-fil-A because they give money, the, the head corporate office used to give money to anti-LGBTQ folks. So I thought, okay, I need to offset the, what I just gave them for my chicken sandwich and donate to a, uh, LGBTQ rights organization plus uh, association charity, which I did. And then Mark and I talked about what to do with it. We didn't do anything with it. Fast forward to where we are now at ASAE in Nashville. We're like, okay, what can we do? And my wife, Beth Surma and I, and Beth's in the meeting space and associations, and we came up with this concept of social offset. That's what we're trying to do. How do you offset the taxes and the negative impact you have when you go to a city that doesn't align with your values? How do you offset it, that, that um, those taxes with some type of charity? So it's like we're tipping the balance of the scale in favor, hopefully in favor of people doing good work, uh, whether that's uh, right now, we're focused on reproductive health care. It could be pro, you know, pro LGBTQ plus. It could be work that charities are doing on anti-racism. It could be hunger. There's so many good things that we should be doing in terms of offsetting some of the taxes that we're paying. Yeah, you know, and I know so many people were conflicted about what to do. We haven't seen each other for several several years. Coming to this meeting in particular, and so I knew I knew some people. I know some people who um, didn't feel comfortable with it. Some people decided to go ahead and come. I think that this is a really interesting approach. What do you want to see happen here at ASAE 22? Um, you're, we're in Nashville. Ideally, what are you, what are you going to have happen from, from your experience talking about socialoffset.com? See, I said it. Nice. Great. Right. Get that plug in. So really the, the, the main goal here really is, is buzz. Is this something, so essentially the, the website right now, yes. socialoffset.com, is, <laughs> uh, is, is it, you might consider it minimal, minimum viable product. It's, it's, a, it's a basic website that will drive donations to one reproductive rights organization. Um, and we want to see if, if, if people think this is a great idea. Is it actually going to drive donations? Is it, is it in that with this minimum amount of work, is it going to be a success for what we've done so far? And to see if this is something that really engages folks. And we know that this is an issue. Uh, you know, we go to meetings all the time that are held in, in areas that don't align with our values. And, and, and so this is an ongoing problem. Is, is what we've, uh, Elena and, and Beth and others have created, is, is this something that, that will help in this space and actually um, do some good work? Because people aren't gonna stop going to meetings. Associations aren't, aren't gonna stop holding meetings in places that don't align with the values of their members or of the association itself. What can we do to help set, uh, offset that? Well, I think this this is a really great solution that I have to, I, you know, I was trying to figure out personally how I could feel better about things coming here. I wanted to see my colleagues and my peers and didn't feel like after all of this time away that I could afford to, to not come, but I definitely was conflicted with it. So I just want to say thank you from from me to you so if people like me are interested in finding out more and how they can get involved where do they go obviously socialoffset.com <laughs> and what can they do kiki that's a so the first thing to do the most important thing is to donate to abortion care of tennessee right that's what's going to offset us that's that's more important than socialoffset.com is getting money into the hands of people that are doing good work the second thing is if you go to socialoffset.com, on the bottom of the page, there's a sign up um, box. That's where if you put your address, we don't know what your email address, we will communicate with you. Whatever the next step is, right? As Mark said, it's a minimum viable product. We wanna see if we can do something 
in the future that helps our two major use cases or someone who's going to an event in a city, um, what can they do to offset? Who should they be giving money to? We're, and also uh, an association. They're going to a city, uh, what can they do as an association to help the people going there offset um, the, the negative impact of the tax dollars? That's excellent. And so I want to check in with you as we proceed each day going through this meeting. Uh, is that okay with you? Absolutely. You would love it. All right. Thanks, Kiki. <laughs> You're the best. Thanks. Wonderful. You are. I'm so thankful for you taking this time. As we're getting started, we're going to go to the opening reception where we're going to have a lot to talk about. So everyone, socialoffset.com, and I will be checking in with you tomorrow to find out a little bit more about the progress that we're making on this initiative. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>